Hey YouTube, how's it going? Just out in nature, or Orange County nature. And I wanted to make a video discussing how to pass a Platform Developer 1 certification exam. And the reason I'm making this video is a couple of months ago I wrote an article uh, regarding the same subject and it seems to get a lot of traction, a lot of people found it useful. So I wanted to create a video um, kind of when I had an opportunity to talk about um, how to pass a Platform Developer 1 certification exam. A little bit about me, uh, I didn't really come from a development background. Uh, I came from uh, actually an English major, believe it or not, but kind of things fell into place and I became a business analyst and next thing you know, I was working very heavily in the platform, got my admin certification, my developer certification, and my platform app builder certification. Um, so a lot of things have changed since then. So if you're like me and you don't have a ton of uh, development experience or technical knowledge, um, it, don't get me wrong, it is important to, to know. It's not gonna hurt to know some of the technical aspects, um, but it's not necessarily a requirement to have a hardcore computer science background. That being said, you're definitely gonna wanna have some background or some knowledge of computing concepts, development concepts. You're gonna wanna know uh, basic markup, HTML, CSS, and you're probably going to want to be somewhat familiar with Java, the structure of Java, and uh, or another object-oriented language like C++. You should know, for example, what uh, a class is, what a method is, what a constructor is, and things like that, because there are going to be some code-specific questions. Um, and so I guess I wanted to start after that long introduction by saying the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to print out the developer certification study guide that Salesforce provides. Um, this is going to be very valuable. Don't make the mistake I made, which was to just quickly ignore the study guide and go down the rabbit hole of trailheads and um, the Apex developer guide and just learning all the ins and outs of things that it's really not in the scope of the platform developer one certification exam. A lot of it, a big majority of it, is on the declarative functionality, those declarative tools. So, um, you know, process builder, uh, visual flow, even workflow rules, approval processes, and when to use those. So a lot of it around the development is when can you use your declarative tools versus when do you have to dive into um, Apex. So. Um, that's my first advice. First piece of advice, print out the study guide and memorize it front to back. Make a notepad or a piece of paper on each section and apply the 80-20 rule. So you're gonna to wanna to focus your majority of time on those that are heavily weighed. You know, the 40% I think is the process automation. Um, and the least amount of time on those other ones, uh, I think maybe uh, visual force might be a, a small piece. I'm, I'm not sure. Um, so pay attention to the study guide and, and keep that in mind. Um, another piece of advice is definitely get a developer um, sandbox. Uh, you, I, I have to imagine that at this point you definitely have one or two, uh, or even like me, I have four development sandboxes. They're free. Um, they're easy to get started with. Um, so definitely have uh, experience and just play around with it. Make your own. Think of a use case that you want um, to perform or a business use case that you want to fulfill and just create it. I mean, there's, you don't really have to worry if you mess it up or if you know um, you put way too many customizations on it. You can just get another one. Um, you know, no big deal. Uh, another piece of advice I would give is to uh, go ahead and jump in the forums, the developer forums, and I know you've probably gone there with questions yourself and you get helpful answers from a lot of developers or people who have been in the uh, working with the platform for a while. Uh, tr I would say try answering some of the questions yourself. I mean, don't give the wrong answer if you don't know it, but go through the questions, um, start reading them, read about what other people, the problems other people are facing, and try to Google the solution and, and see if you can answer the question yourself. And you know, don't be discouraged if uh, you don't get the right answer or no one upvotes your answer. It's really good experience and that's how, for me, I got a lot of experience was just continually going through 
um, those questions and answers and, and seeing the problems other people are having. Um, next piece of advice would be definitely check out Salesforce Ben. Uh, I think it's salesforceben.com. Uh, he has a great blog and the great practice exams. Um, I can heavily attribute uh, my passing to, to one of his blogs on there or someone um, on his team, their blogs about passing the Platform Developer One certification exam. It's very useful. It points out the trails you should know on Trailhead uh, and things like that. So um, let's see, we have pass a study guide or memorize the study guide. Uh, try being helpful on um, those forums, Salesforce Ben, uh, get a developer sandbox. Um, let's think. Oh, and we'll talk about some of the specifics of the exam, things you definitely want to know. You definitely want to know about test classes. Um, you definitely want to know about, um, and this is more of the coding side or the development side. You want to know about how to write a test class, the basic structure of an of a Apex class, um, what each trigger does, you know, your before, your after, updates, your um, triggers, you're gonna wanna know the order of execution from front to back. And this is um, in, in the order in which um, processes execute. So all the way from, um, you know, when you save a record, what processes are running first and what processes are given priority. Um, so you're gonna wanna know that from front to back. Um, and again, the automation tools, you're gonna wanna know those very well. So, Hmm. I hope that's helpful. I can't really think of anything off the top of my head. Um, but check out my article on Platform Developer One. Uh, I'll leave it in the description. And uh, let me know what you think.